In the practice of Nichiren Buddhism, beads hold a profound significance as a tangible tool for concentration and mindfulness during chanting. These beads, also known as juzu, or rosary, serve as a powerful aid in deepening our connection with the mystic law and awakening our inherent Buddha nature. Let us explore the writings of Nichiren Daishonin to understand the role and significance of beads in this transformative spiritual path. The beads used in Nichiren Buddhism consist of a string with a specific number of beads, typically 108 or beads, including a larger bead known as the Gohonzon bead, or Juzu Jewel, which represents the Gohonzon, the ultimate object of devotion in Nichiren Buddhism. Nichiren Daishonin explains the significance of the beads, stating, when one is poor, one uses a string of beads. When one becomes rich, one uses one's mind. Both are vehicles to express the true law. This passage emphasizes that beads are not merely objects, but tools that assist us in expressing our devotion and concentration on the true law, the essence of the mystic law and our own Buddhahood. The beads in Nichiren Buddhism serve as a focal point during chanting, helping to calm the mind, enhance concentration, and deepen our connection with the power of Nam Myoho Renge Kyo. As we pass each bead through our fingers while chanting, it serves as a tactile reminder of our commitment to the practice and our continuous journey toward enlightenment. Furthermore, the beads serve as a symbol of the interconnectedness of all life. Nichiren Daishonin states, when we chant Daimoku, we use the prayer beads as an expression of the vow to strive for the sake of all beings. This teaching highlights the importance of our practice in contributing to the welfare and happiness of all people. Each bead represents a vow, a prayer, and a dedication to the well-being of ourselves and others. In addition to their practical use during chanting, the beads also carry a symbolic significance. The number 108 holds special meaning in Buddhist traditions, representing the various human desires and delusions that we must overcome on our path to enlightenment. It is believed that chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo with the beads 108 times helps to purify these delusions and awaken our Buddha nature. Moreover, the larger bead, the Gohonzon bead or Juzu jewel, represents the Gohonzon, the ultimate embodiment of the mystic law. Nichiren Daishonin affirms the profound connection between the beads and the Gohonzon, stating, a true disciple of Nichiren does not use the mindless methods of counting the number of Daimoku he or she chants. Instead, he or she practices as if counting each Daimoku individually, one by one. Such a disciple is like a bead that is strung together with all the others on the thread of Nam Myoho Renge Kyo. This passage emphasizes that the beads are not separate from the Gohonzon or the chanting itself. They are interconnected elements that represent our commitment to the practice and our unity with the mystic law. The beads in Nichiren Buddhism play a vital role in the practice of chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo. They serve as a tool for concentration, mindfulness, and devotion, enabling us to deepen our connection with the mystic law and awaken our inherent Buddha nature. The beads symbolize our commitment to the practice, our interconnectedness with all life, and our dedication to the welfare and happiness of all beings. Let us embrace the significance of the beads and utilize them as a tangible reminder of our journey toward enlightenment.